Hello everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and if you are using Bluehost and WordPress and having trouble sending emails, this video is for you. So I will give you a quick explanation about the issue. By default, WordPress uses the PHP mailer function to send emails which results in emails going to the spam folder. So what we are going to do is use a SMTP plugin and configure a proper email to send emails and we can also receive reply to that email ID. So let's start. First thing you have to do is log into the Bluehost portal here. And then from here, you can either directly log into the WordPress dashboard area here, like I did, or just log in anyway. Okay. You can also do it manually. After logging into the WordPress admin area, go to plugins here and then go to add new. Here in the search bar, search for plugin called SMTP and press enter. Now this is the first option you will see WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. You can see it has been installed by a lot of users and it is regularly updated. So you have to install and activate it. I have already done so to save your time and after activating this plugin, on the left sidebar here, you will see this option WP Mail SMTP. Go to settings here. Okay, now scroll down and we have to change this from email ID and from name. And we have to, we will need all these details SMTP host, SMTP port, username, and password. Okay, so now go to the Bluehost portal here, then go to advanced. Now let's first create an email account here. Click on create here. Here enter the username for your email. For example, I have already created some email. So I will use info at the rate my website name. You can also use like support or whatever email you want to use. Then generate a password for it. I will just copy and save it in a safe place. and then click on create you can see the success message that this email id has been created so here in the list also you will see this option click on check email here so this will log you into the webmail portal here and then go to your inbox just click on open here you will see there will be a con configuration email just open it Okay, so from here we will get a lot of things we will need later. Now again go to the Bluehost uh, portal here and then go to advance. Now go to file manager here. Click on public HTML folder. Then scroll down. These are all your WordPress files. So here we need the WP configuration file. Okay. And then right click here and then click on edit. And I would recommend you to have a backup of your WordPress website before doing all these changes. As it is very important to have backup of WordPress, you can watch my other tutorial to learn how to create backup of your WordPress website for free. And you can also schedule your backups to do it automatically. Okay. So this is a very important file. So make sure that you do the changes properly. Okay. So here just press enter and then add. I will put this code in the description so you can just copy and paste it from here. Okay. Okay. In place of password, you have to replace it with your real password. So this is the password I used when creating the email address. So I will just paste it here and then click on save changes. Okay. So we have saved the WPSMTP password and the configuration file. And it is important to do this because of security reasons. Okay. Now I will show you the its effect here. If I will just refresh this page. Okay. First, I will show you. 
if you scroll down here uh, here right now you can see you are able to ch make changes in the SMTP password area uh, section so I will just refresh this page and after refreshing the page you can see we cannot edit the SMTP password anymore and it is safer to save the password in the configuration file than to save it here and this process is recommended by the plugin author okay now just scroll up and here first thing you have to put your email id you created before you create info at the right okay. then take this option force email from if you want you can also force the sender name but i will keep this unchecked so for example if you want to send transaction email so you can also edit this email okay so it depends upon your requirements you can take this return path option so if any email bounce back so you will get its notification in your email id okay it is a good practice just do it um then here in the mailer option select other smtp now scroll down and we have to fill this detail to get this details just go to the inbox of the new email id you created and from here you can copy paste the information so this is the outgoing server copy this and paste it here okay so now encryption let's see here we can use the tls this is the port 587 select this and it will automatically be selected if it is incorrect you have to correct it to the port uh, given in this configuration email okay now authentication yes enable this and then in username put your email id here just copy it and paste it here okay make sure this is the same email id here also okay from email now click on save settings you can see this message that the settings have been saved now let's do a email test click here so this is my gmail id uh, i will send a test email here you can see the test email has been sent but its deliverability has could be improved okay so you will see the recommendations here it passed the spf record test but the dm arc record has not been set up for my email properly so we can improve this you can see i got the test email and it was sent to my inbox so if we see more details you can see the sender name here support team which i selected before and this is the email id we used and it was sent to my gmail id you can see the date and time this is the subject and it was signed by my website domain name so it was authenticated properly and it was also marked as important by google so using a smtp plugin will increase your email delivery rates and if you are not spamming most of your emails will go to the inbox and there will be no issue okay so if i want i can also reply to this email id and then it will be sent to my inbox folder here so i hope you guys found this tutorial useful please do let me know in the comments your feedback how you like this tutorial and if i missed anything or anything like that um so, and that's it guys for this video i will see you in the next video